Thanks, guys. Our next guests are actors and brothers, as it happens. They've appeared, uh, one has, in over 100 films, the latest being Jake Spanner, Private Eye, which premieres on USA Cable Network tomorrow night and repeats on November 19th. The other has just written this uh, new book called Them Ornery Mitchum Boys. Uh, I guess they are. Please welcome Robert Mitchum and John Mitchum. Here they go. Hi, Pat. How are you, Bob? Nice to see Worse. you. Worse. Worse? <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. Well, yeah. that's now, the way it goes. Where did this, uh, is this ornery just a name you made up for this book, John, or are you guys? Oh, hardly. Yeah. Hardly. Uh, Robert is ornery. I, my mother called me John the Good for years and years. Had signs saying, uh, come John see. John called himself John the Good. <laughs> were, were you good or just relatively good? <laughs> Not even that. No? No. no. Now, what's the age difference between you two? Two years. Two years? And no. may I ask which one is older? I am older. John is Jewish. <laughs> uh, now, as kids, um, what 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 got you? What kinds of things would you do which would get you this nickname? What, what what's ornery for a kid? Well, the first thing that happened was my. Of course, my father was killed before I was born, so I never had the restraint or the guidance of a father. Sad. So I did uh, all my uh, yeah all my own. If you want to deck him any time, John. You oh no, I'm afraid they'd do the same to me. Oh, all right. Have, have you ever before you have, have you ever punched each other? Oh God, oh, yes. Yeah, sure. And I say I fought for years, and he's the worst thing I ever got tangled with. Wow. That's People said to tribute. me, "You look like you've been hit by a cement truck." I didn't deny it. No way, because I did. So you grew up without the fatherly influence. So uh, I was on safari in Bridgeport, Connecticut, which is hard to do. <laughs> and I was uh, baking a potato, which was my idea of going out and really hunting big game. And an errant ember went into the ice cream factory and burned it to the ground. This is the story you're, you're sticking to to this day. I was day. six years old. Oh, right. Cops grabbed me, said, who did this? I said, my brother. <laughs> That's right. They said, uh, how do you know that? I said, he always does stuff like that. Always. So he had an airtight alibi. He was on the other side of town. Mm -hmm. And therefore, I was the one that was got free because of the baby face at the time, you see. They never questioned me again. Now, the next thing that happened, we went down to the, long, uh, to the uh, marina in Bridgeport. And Bob, of course... It was not a marina. It's well, a it was harbor. a dock. <laughs> what the hell? It's some place with water. Yeah. And we commandeered a small boat. Mm -hmm. Bob was suddenly the captain, self-appointed, which he will deny, but he was the self-appointed captain. He and a kid named Davy Fitzgerald were up. The boat never got out of, off the beach. Because I sank it. I drilled a hole in her bottom. Just, just, just I to wanted see, to see if it would work. Yeah. They, they first... Every kid should have a hobby, John. <laughs> uh, now, is any of this stuff true? No, none of it. I didn't think so. No, <laughs> no it's, just, uh, it, it's just, you know, labeled us as the ornery Mitchum boys. Yeah. Now, you two have worked together professionally. You two have been in movies. Twice. Same yes. Twice? Which one? Three ones? times, actually. Three, so three times. Lusty it's... Men. Yeah. One Minute to Zero. Oh, yeah. And El Dorado. I missed you on One Minute to Zero. I... <laughs> you should go see it. Rent it. It's a good movie. Okay. Yeah, I, I got a word for it. Uh, you guys got along okay on the set? Uh, with, Beautifully. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Now, I do what he says. Yeah, now, last time you were here, we, we, we wanted to talk and get, didn't get a chance to, and I don't know if you're of, of a mind to tonight, to talk about uh, uh, Miss Monroe a little bit, because you, you worked with Marilyn and yeah. knew her for a long time uh, before, before you worked with her yeah. as well. Well, uh, not really. I had met her early. Yeah. You know, but how, how young was, was she when you met her? Well, uh, she was married to, uh, to, uh, Jim, how old was she? You know, what, 16, 17, yeah, whatever. Yeah. You know? I don't know. Yeah, but a kid, a kid, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you see in her what was going to happen to her? No, no. Uh, we went to, uh, the uh, company dance at, uh, the Lockheed company dance, and, uh, then I... Actually, well, I probably met her a couple of times, 
in the interim, and then I met her again when she came over to Akio, and then I met her again when I worked with her. Yeah. And, you know, but, but, uh... At what stage in her life what, what, was she when you worked with her? Um, she was married to Joe DiMaggio. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we were up in uh, Canada, and uh, she has to run out in the river, or walk out in the river, you know, to cut the string on a raft or something like that. And, <laughs> and this is a a uh, uh, glacial river, so it's all powdered stone. All the stones in the river are very slippery. You know? yeah. And I said, don't run out there because you run out there, you're going to slip, you're going to break your leg. And she's uh, staring off into space and saying, it is the um, uh, something of... of considered flight, you know, it is the panic of considered flight, or is the considered panic of flight or whatever. And I said, be that as it may, you're going out there. <laughs> still break your leg. You're going to break your leg. Yeah. <laughs> and she says, it is the panic of considered flight. And out of premature says, action, she ran out and broke her leg. <laughs> <laughs> Should pay attention. Well, uh, we're, we're going to take a break, and, and we'll come I back. and you would. Yeah, well, we, we will. But... <laughs> Have some water in the meantime. Oh, yeah. We'll be back with the those ornery mitchins. They are. The Pat Sajak Show, sponsored by Suave Hair Care. Can we take a look at it? Well, I'd like to see it. <laughs> oh, God. I can't say much about it until I see well, it. Well, I suppose, sure. You don't want to miss out on this. It's uh, it's called Jake Spanner, a private eye, and it stars, among others, the Mitchums. Take a look. Bring me anything to drink? You know, you're not supposed to drink. You know, this stuff comes in ports, too. The hell kind of a name is Levy's Select for Irish Whiskey? House brand. So, what's new? You're about to do cannon? No. Dead. Killed over in the doctor's waiting room. Oh, hell. Could be worse. Oh, could be us. Yeah, right. Did you take your medicine this morning, soldier? Why, well, yes, sir. Don't forget we get another dose at seven. Yes, sir. I'd like to give her a dose. What'd you think? Look okay? Well, I thought it was a rather rude uh, suggestion to the nurse. I... Yeah, but it looked like a pretty good movie, didn't you think? I think so, yeah. <laughs> now, I can't help but notice there's, there's a musical instrument here. I know Otis Day in the Nights will not be using this. I know Bill Cosby left without using it. So by process of elimination, this belongs to one of you guys. It ain't me. Yeah? Excuse it ain't me either, but... What, what, what do you I always to... hate to do this in front of a band because I just fiddle with a guitar. Ah. See? Yeah, all right. But I just thought we'd do a little folk song, and if Bob wants to, he can fit right in with it. Now, have you done, guys done this? Because he does past? pretty good. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Well, we're going to do old, old Don't Tell Aunt Rudy. Or Go Tell Aunt Rudy. Well, whatever is fair. Well, now go tell Aunt Rudy. Go tell Aunt Rudy. Go tell Aunt Rudy. The one that she's been saving, the one that she's been saving to make a feather bed. Well, now she died in the mill pond. She died in the mill pond. Died in the mill pond. Standing on her head. Now the goslings are crying. The goslings are crying, the goslings are crying, because their man is dead. So go tell Aunt Rudy, go tell Aunt Rudy, go tell Aunt Rudy that her old gray goose is dead. On the road, you that I think it was too, <laughs> Is this? Are you doing a, a, a television situation comedy? Uh, did I read this? Uh, I guess I, I am. Yeah. <laughs> I have lots of news for you tonight. Boy, uh, is this actually happening? Uh, is there a name for it? Is I there think a, so. Yeah, I to, think it's called Regular Joe. And uh, it's going to be coming. Uh, it's out. a you know, it's uh, 
subsidized by, by one of those uh, full fiber, you know, I mean, regular is the key word. Oh, regular, regular, oh. Joe, yeah. Well, I guess that's important in life. Sure, it is. I think it is. Well, we'll look forward to it. You'll continue making movies. Either though. that, you're going to miss the plane. <laughs> Uh, anyway, we'll look, look forward to that. I don't know why that... Do, are people surprised when they hear you want to do a, a TV series? I think he was the most surprised. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it'll be fun. And you'll still make movies, right? I hope so, yes. Oh, all right. Uh, anyway, the book is called... Uh, them ornery Mitchum boys, and I hate to blow your cover, but you seem like swell guys to me. Uh, well, uh, thanks, uh, John Mitchum, Robert Mitchum. Thank you both for being here. Thank you. Thank you, John. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Stay there for just a moment. We would like to welcome Nissan as a sponsor of the Pat Sajak Show. Come on back. Otis Day in the night. Coming up.